So what is the girl goal, Bill? Uh, lots of people have a definition. I have my own. I measure it at about over 80 kilometers of a northwest-southeast aligned trend of intrusion centered gold deposits in the state of Guerrero. Uh, and as I'm sure everybody here knows, Gold Corps' Los Feliz Mine Project is currently the largest producer of gold in all of Mexico and probably will be overtaken sometime, predictably, uh, by uh, uh, Peñasquito later on in the year. This is what it looks like to get us oriented. We're in the southern state of Guerrero here. Okay. Off the map to the north is Mexico City. Down here, the port city and resort of Acapulco, state capital Chilpancingo. Here's Guerrero. This is the approximate distribution of the trend. We've got inf great infrastructure, major highway connecting Mexico City to uh, Acapulco. Um, but what characterizes an emerging mining district? I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how many of you here as investors, I'm seeing mostly familiar faces. Uh, I'm hoping the rest of you are people who are actually interested in finding more gold here along with us, and that's why you're here. But what characterizes it? Obviously, we need to understand it to find more. At least I subscribe to the Peter Lynch idea that uh, fidelity, that uh, if you don't understand what you're investing in, you probably shouldn't be doing it unless you like taking big risks. So geologically speaking, what I consider to be a mining district, first criteria, big. That's not a very technical term. It's got to be big. And when I mean big, I mean these are not one-off deposits. It's not one and done. We're looking at multiple deposits over a broad area that are unified by common geologic characteristics. Okay, That is critical, because if you don't have that, you're not going to have a mining district. And if you don't have that, you're not going to have predictable potential to find more. But what else we'd like to see is we'd like to see that this is systematic. And what I mean by systematic is that the processes that formed these gold deposits are inherent to the geological system itself. If you understand that system, and I'm going to subject you to some of that, I'm afraid. Uh, sorry about this, but it's going to happen. If you don't understand that, then you will not, if you understand that, you'll be able to predict where and how to find them, OK? You'll be well armed to find more of these. And I would like to think that's what we're all here for today, to expand our knowledge base. Uh, from an investment perspective, uh, we can translate these things into a potential for lots of gold. That's easy thing, universal language there. Value, no doubt about that. Uh, but perhaps more important is we have a reasonable predictability. Anybody looking at investing or not investing is going to say, so what's the deal? You guys are doing this. What sort of likelihood am I to have of finding more investing with you? Well, you understand the system, and you understand what's going on, and you can show that it's systematic. You simply, a priori, have a higher probability of discovery.